Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about IT products and what companies care about. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what do IT companies care about? From your perspective, what do they want from their products? This is a really good question because it's a very complicated, it's a from my perspective, you at the very least, very easy to answer this at a high level. It's enormously complicated to answer how to go about doing it. I would even go as far as to say that the only way to answer that question is it depends and then you need a ton of experience to answer that question. So the, from my perspective there are three things that are the main points that every single IT company cares about just across the board. The first and foremost thing is availability or uptime. If your system isn't up and running and people can access it, that is the worst thing possible because if it's not up and running, you're not making money. You're making zero cash. So that's number one. Number two is going to be they care about performance. And I'm not talking about just how quite quickly your functions are executing. We're talking about bugs. We're talking about uh, execution speed to a certain point in other words the system has to feel comfortable it has to feel comfortable using it doesn't matter if you have a page load time that isn't perfect as long as it's not so bad that people actually feel frustration from you using your system so it has to convert it has to it, it's a balancing act between many factors but performance is for sure one of those uh, it's a think, think of it as an umbrella term over more complicated things and then for third and lastly they care about time to market these are the three things that will be universally true for every single company on I would say almost exclusively uh, every, I, I don't think I can't really think of anything else that that isn't company specific they would care about this is the this is the foundation of it all and you would be surprised at how hard this is to achieve to achieve the trifecta to do all of these at the same time it's practically impossible the reason why it's practically impossible is very simple because whenever you get really good at one or the other or one or the other the others starts usually to uh, they st they, it's, they, it steals away from something else. You can practically always, I will, in my opinion at the very least, you can take it to the bank that you will not be able to achieve all three of these and be really, really good at all three. It's impossible. You can look at companies such as, say, Google and Facebook and like these super companies, and you look at, if you look at how long it takes them to ship meaningful features, uh, they have sacrificed... Uh, up, uh, sacrificed uh, delivery speed for performance and for uh, for uptime they have excellent uptime usually excellent uptimes and they have enormously performant applications that make them a lot of money but uh, they like they will never be able to ship at the speed a small startup is able to ship at they simply don't have the uh, i mean it's it, there's too big there's too much uh, going on and the same thing, I mean, it, the same thing is true if you go on the other side of the whole thing and you go to a smaller company where you can ship like meaningful features like all the time. The quicker you can ship, the odds are higher that the, the, the less process you will have to have. If you want to ship really, really quickly, the fastest thing you can do is, of course, have a really small feature, just ship it immediately without any of the quality checks and testing and so forth. And hopefully it's going to work out for you. In my experience, usually how it goes is that you try to find a balance between all of these things and you start addressing the thing as... You, it's Think of it as you're just chasing one of these things at any given time, depending on where you are in the life cycle of your company. You're trying to achieve all three at the same time, but you're not you know it's impossible you're never going to be it's never going to be perfect so what you do is that you chase the thing that for the moment is causing you the most amount of problems or it's the it's the thing that you you haven't addressed or it's the thing you have neglected or the thing that's going to make you the most amount of money for a startup or a small company that's usually delivery speed delivery speed is the thing that you are always after and you continue down that route until you reach a point where you're starting to get complaints from your customers. Complaints about uptime. I mean, usually uptime and delivery speed is the primary focuses for a small company because, as I said, like uptime 
if the system isn't running, if it's crashing or if it's uh, unavailable, you basically haven't, you can't really, well, you can't really make any money. Uh, so usually you try to pursue, pursue these two at the same time, but you neglect performance and testing and quality and like all of these sorts of things. And that's usually fine because uh, in the early days, you usually are just trying to figure out what's going to work. You're trying everything. It's like throwing spaghetti against the wall and hoping that you will figure out the thing that's going to stick. And before you know it, uh, you've been doing that for long enough that a sustainable idea comes to you and your company and you create some, you get the sensation of what type of business model is going to work here. And then your company starts to mature. And usually the way it goes is that we call that the scale up. Uh, basically, it means that you now have some, uh, some a solid idea that people are either willing to invest money into or you're making revenue or something like that. And now it starts growing. And then what usually happens is that you continue until a sensation of quality or performance is started to become your main issue. And that's ratio usually, is, is, this is the normal ratio. The larger the company or the more time you spend on developing your product, the m less, the, the lower, like the slower your company will be able to ship things. But at the same time, and this is like, this is usually the thing that di dictates if the company is going to survive or not. These, at the same time, the idea at the very least is that your quality and uptimes and performances and all of this stuff should tra be traded. If you're really, really shitty, if you just produce a bunch of legacy, your entire company, it's just a matter of time before your company can practically produce a shitty application uh, very slowly. And com companies like that, they like the ones that survive are usually surviving because they have a very forgiving customer base or they are they have enormously talented salespeople but like uh, quite a lot of them fail because like uh, they they simply kept on going on the uh, on the delivery speed uh, uh, mission or like they were pursuing that for so for like they've never stopped trying to pursue it and that simply doesn't work forever it works until a certain point and then you have to switch it's like chasing chasing a carrot you chase that one carrot until you have to chase another one. Uh, you can't chase all at the same time, and the sooner you realize that, the better. So what I want you to take away from this is that usually the thing that almost practically every single IT company is looking for in their IT products is number one, uptime. Your system needs to be up and running, and that means that you need to invest in making sure that you have a scalable architecture and operations and all this stuff. You should, I mean, that is the trend today. Like that's the platform as, as a service and like all of this cloud native stuff that you have been he hearing about is about. You're trying to offload as much of that work as possible so that you have the best possible uptime because it takes a lot of time and effort to make this happen, but it's also critical to your business. Second thing they care about is performance. In other words, does your system actually do the thing it's supposed to be doing to a acceptable level for your customers? Are your customers happy using the system? Even if they're not super happy, are they using the system? Can they do the work that they need? Do the pages love, load fast enough that you can make money from it? It's not about being bleeding edge here. It's about performing. The system needs to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. Third and lastly, they care about delivery speed. These three things are the main factors that play in into every single IT decision that you will ever be part of. Uh, the, if you can, basically I will go as far as to say that if you have the ability to structure ideas that you have within the, these three spaces. In other words, if you can feel what, your, what space your company is in and what they're chasing at that moment, what is priority, and you figure out like you, you want, if you want any traction on your ideas, you have to cater to one of these three things. These are the things that matter to every single IT company. There are, of course, other things that could matter to your specific company, but this is the common denominator. And the idea is, you should at the very least, you can only pick two of these. It's impossible to have all three at the same time and like, uh, uh, it, it's practically impossible. So you have to pick what you're going to chase and you usually go chasing one thing or two things and then you keep on doing that until you start realizing that oh shit I've been neglecting this other thing over here and now I need to chase that thing and then you switch and try to keep find a way to balance the whole equation and that is the life of every single that's the that's every single IT company under the, under the sun pretty much and it never ends but at the very least now that you know what most of the IT companies are looking for, you can start thinking in terms of 
okay, how can I benefit the uptime? How can I benefit the performance of the application? Is the performance in this in this stage of my company, is the performance and quality of my project more important than delivery speed? Or is delivery speed the most important thing? And when you start thinking in these terms and you start looking at what your company is valuing, you will see how much of a difference that's gonna make when you're presenting ideas. I promise you, if you, are, if you figure this out, your ideas will get adopted practically all the time. Have a great day.